quiet, excited mood, and it was then that the first had been drawn up. The police fought to establish cordons, cutting Atlantic Road off to the north from the shopping centre and to the south from Railton and Mail Roads, two parallel residential streets which sneak up to Hearn Hill. Among the reinforcements which had answered the general call for assistance was a dog van. Lord Scarman often expressed his concern at the inquiry about the use of dogs in crowd control and one senior police officer in evidence agreed with him. He said that police dogs were dangerous animals and he'd once been bitten by one himself. They weren't any good in crowd control. They weren't any good in crowd control. The dog van was the first police vehicle to be set on fire. Then there was a fight around the Windsor Castle pub. The first petrol bombs were thrown, the Windsor Castle was ransacked and then set alight. Probably according to police evidence by a stray petrol bomb. <laughs> Jobs, money, and National Front, and all the rest. We've just had enough, so we've just exploded, you understand? You can only take a certain amount. It was at this time that a bus was hijacked by the crowd. According to one journalist who saw it, the bus was driven slowly and jerkily towards the police lines. According to the officer who stopped it by throwing a brick through its window, it was being driven at the police line at about 50. I think they're overdue. Oh, yeah. What do you think about the black youths? The black youths, I think that they're just standing up for themselves and their rights. Yeah. Oh, so as far as I can see, now it's third on the road here. Now it's a building going down with fire. Yeah, well, I mean, you have to get some casualties anytime you have these kind of things, yeah. isn't it? Really. Why is it the police had to keep a vigilant all Friday night and Saturday? They caused it all this. If they keep, if they try and keep away as they usually do, and just patrol the place as they usual, this wouldn't have happened. The fireman them get ready to go home now after two days of hard work. Amongst the firemen, them comforted them. London police have been stoned in the Stoke Newington area, where mobs have barricaded roads with stolen cars. And in Brixton, there have been clashes with a crowd of about 300 youths who have been smashing shop windows. Meanwhile, Metropolitan Police Commission. This is the end of the Duke of Winds. Many people have been asking the question what caused the trouble in Brixton Railway Road today? But there's only one question, there's I, I only one answer, that the youth and the police need Jesus Christ. This is the state of Railton Road. This is one of the pubs that is burning right down to the ground. Another side of Railton Road, this was the bath center. We said a lot of bath here, a burn down to the ground. Lots of building here was damaged by a fire. I believe it's the police is the police harassment of the young people. Oh yes, what about your boy? Your boy ever get in trouble with the police? Hang on. Brixton was very terrible, don't it? It was. Yeah. And what's the cause of the police? Is the police is the police uh, harass the blokes them from from Friday to Saturday? Oh yeah. So what about